Alrighty, welcome. <clears throat> Try that again. Ready? Alrighty, welcome back. I'm your man, Bad Chad, and Queen Jolene's on the camera, and we are on air. And today, I'm going to try to fabricate. I always say try, but generally, I just gonna, I'm just going to do what I can do. I'm going to fabricate a piece of metal for the round piece of the front of the roof. Um, what am I going to say now? This this is the area sometimes where people get um, nervous of if they can make the metal the shape they need to make it. And uh, what, I, what I'm going to say is, is sometimes um, I get that way too when you get into a certain situation. Uh, when I was looking at the doodle bug, I was looking at the roof and I was looking at the back part of it. How, you, how, how am I going to make all them different shapes? Well, as, as I get going, you, you figure out things as you get going and then you just continue on. That's with like with the making the windows, how we did this and how we decided to use three quarter inch square stock instead of one inch square stock to go all the way around. Whether to put the, the square stock up this way so I could lay the metal on the face of it instead of on the edge of it. Um, there's a bunch of different things that you think about. And, the, and the making the roof is one of them because it's round and uh, it's one big piece. Uh, when, it, when it comes time to make the roof, as I have it situated like this, like I said before, I think of the Airstream trailer. You know, if you've ever seen one of those things, they're, they're made out of different pieces. So basically, that's what I'm going to try to do on this one. Um, as I'm looking at it, I have a small piece of pie here, a little bigger piece of pie here, and then the, the biggest piece of pie is here. <coughs> so... Um, I was thinking if I'm if I can if I'm going to make this big piece of pie here, I should be able to make this one big piece here and use this one just for a center rib for the big piece. But I do not think that I have the metal over there at the at the moment to make the big piece that I'm thinking about for the whole thing. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try a little piece at first, and and the and the name of the game here is if you can tell. Uh, when it's just not as easy as laying a piece down flat like this, bring a piece flat down like this, and then and, uh, end it off flat because it's not. If we're the camera sitting, you can tell that this piece is like this. So when this piece comes down around, we're going to have to have a shape there. And uh, where it's into a pie shape, where each piece is into a pie, I'm feeling that I'm going to be able to roll it in the roller to get this shape. I think we have a visitor, the dog bell just went off. We have the shape here, and then we can roll it back to go into there. Where I've made everything out of an inch, I'm hoping that everything can, will land in the center of the one inch square stock, and then I can, you know, then I can weld it to the square stock and weld each piece together and have something there to hold it up. You know just as well as I do, when you have two pieces of metal come together and, you, and you're butt welding together and there's nothing underneath of it from falling, it's a little harder situation. I'm going to take a look just for a second. I'm going to take a look for a second. And they keep cruising up. Fiend will take care of them. I want to thank everybody for, I, re I really want to thank everybody for coming back and watching. I want to thank the live chat. I want to thank um, all the people that throw in comments. I want to thank all the people that are on Facebook. I want to thank everybody that makes it possible that me and Jolene are able to do what we do. We appreciate it and thank you. Um, also, I want to throw a thank you out to Hub and Liz, a good friends of mine. They brought me over a book yesterday. And my best memory of, of Hub and, the old, and, uh, and old cars is uh, I had a 56 Mercury one time. Um, I was going to take the motor out of it. It wasn't working that good. didn't have much power. I thought I wanted more power. Um, Hub said, let me take a look at it for a minute. He adjusted the points in the car. Never really got in that situation before. It was my, sort of my first old car. He adjusted the points in the, in the car. And man, it was just like a brand new, brand new vehicle. And it was like, wow. Um, I did not take the motor of the car. The car worked awesome. But anyways, thanks, Hub and Liz. We, I appreciate it. Um, I appreciate it. Longtime friends. Liz is all, also has done some interior work for me. She done the interior work on the Green Goblin, actually. Uh, I'm going to open up a couple more things just because they're here. And Brunt, uh, Brunt has sent me the boots. And I will say, I got to say, 
They're probably the best boots I've ever had for work boots. They're probably the, the best. And the reason being is, is they're comfortable. Um, they looked good when they were brand new. I've put a, I've, they've taken the brunt of the situation here in the shop and they're, and they're standing up and um, they're awesome. So they've sent me something else. So I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna open a couple little things here for a second if you wanna take the time with me. Have to show respect to people that show me respect. I have to. And the reason being is, is because that's the way it should work. If someone shows you respect, make sure you show it back. And if they don't show you respect, make you sure you show them that back. <laughs> Basically. I think it's a pair of pants, baby. One thing I do notice, the black pants that I that I acquired, or me and Julie acquired, um, I, I just get in the shop and, and move around a little bit and I'm dirty. It's like... Look at that, brand new pair of pants. Think my fat ass will fit into those? Huh? All right, thanks Brunt, appreciate it. We'll check them bad boys out. So anytime you see me in gray, I'll probably be wearing the Brunt pants. I've got the Brunt boots on. Maybe I can be a spokesperson for them. We have a gift here all the way from the UK. Scotland. Scotland, UK, and no, that's not the same. It's not the same. All right, we got a... Let's read the name on this bad boy. So we, let's get the name on this bad boy. Do we know the name on it? There. Is that the name there? Jane. From Glasson, Scotland. Alright, Glasgow, Scotland. All right, Glasgow, Scotland. Uh, Barmalock? I'm, I'm, I'm good at spelling, as you can tell. <laughs> Not really. What? I just don't want to show their address. Okay. Um, but anyways, it's from Scotland. I'd like to say the name. Sonia or... I don't know. All the way from Scotland, people. If you're watching the channel, write in where you're from. We appreciate it, and I and I think I know why, um, why you know why this channel is successful. I think I know why. Well, I know why. For one, Jolene is amazing what she does, but number two, I th I'm, I'm pretty sure that you know I'm just like everybody else that's building cars. You do with what you have, and you do the best job you can on your old car. You know. Um, and basically that's all you should do is make yourself happy you know not everybody's got a million bucks um, they, they want to send a car somewhere to get um, built and drop this bad boy not everybody's got a million dollars to throw in an old car and the fun of making an old car there's nothing like it so I think a lot of people feel the same way I do and probably build their cars the exact same way I do with you know with a little bit of thought process and that sort of thing. We got a couple oil cans. I know where they're going already. Ah, cool. I'm a sucker for an oil can or something that's got a little bit of history to it. And the reason being is I, I enjoy looking at them. Like I, I enjoy it. Like I'm basically going to save it for somebody else. Oh, well, that's cool. That is so cool. That's so. I've, I've never seen like anything like that here in Canada, but that is so cool. Embossed and in green, that is so cool. That will go in our big shop. Thank you very much. I wish I knew the, wish I knew the name. Like, I'd give you a big shout out. I would. If you're watching, please write in and say what your name say what your name is. Or and this one here. Oh, that's cool too. Redline, never heard tell of Redline, I don't think. That's wicked. Thank you very much, I appreciate it. They will go in the big shop and we'll look after those until the end of time. Thank you very much, from Scotland. And if I could say the name, I would. Just wanna look at it again. If anybody else knows the name, scream it out. McVeigh? 
Thank you, Mr. McVeigh. Appreciate it. Your, your thoughts. Um, tell us who you are. You're a good person. Thank you very much. Thank you, Brunt, for the pants. And thank you, Hub Liz, for the book. Appreciate it. Let's make a piece for this bad boy. Also, when you're making round things, when you're making something round, I always think of uh, more than one piece. It, it makes it easier when you make it more, more than one piece. Uh, if you're looking at a fender on an old car and you've seen someone that's rolled out a fender on an English wheel or on a uh, pull max or whatever, they've made a fender um, and, and it looks beautiful. Well, you have to understand or you don't have to if you don't want to, but you, you should understand if you're into this kind of business that they've made that fender out of more than one piece. You do not take a, a piece of metal and roll a whole fender out of a, out of a wheel, no. You're making it out of a, a bunch of pieces and then you're butt welding it together and then bringing it all to one piece. Um, I guess that's when you see a buck, more or less what a, what, what's going on here, this is gonna be a buck and I'm gonna sheath the buck but a lot of bucks are made out of wood, um, some are made out of metal, some are made out of round rods, some are made out of all different kinds of things, but then they sheathe it. So basically what the buck is for is to hold the metal. When I put a piece of, or when I go to sheathe this, I'm gonna sheathe this one in this video, this piece right here, and we'll put a round piece in it. When I go to sheathe this, I have one straight square sock piece going all the way across to the other side. So that is where I'm gonna start sheathing. If you can picture it, I've got in the middle of this square stock here, in the middle of this square stock here, to the middle of this square stock down here. If you want to come take a look, sweetheart, just on the other end. You can see I've got four feet in the middle of that square stock. So what's going to happen is, I did that on purpose, so what's going to happen is when I take a piece of, a full piece of metal, I'm going to come down here, I'm going to plunk the straight edge on here, the straight edge along here, I'm going to probably go on the inside and tack that on there, on the inside so it can't take off. It's going to cover all the wheel. Yes, it is. Then I'm going to take that piece and we're going to roll it right up around, probably to the center. And there will probably will be one of these in there that's just stuck in there. That's not welded in there right now, but that's kind of going to keep my roof rafters, same as your house. If you were strapping your roof rafters so they all stay together, this is a piece that I'm going to put in to make it all stay at four feet. In, or two feet uh, center and that way there I can put a four foot sheet of metal on here I can run it to the center when I tack it I can tack it all the way along the center here I'll tack it all the way along the center here this roof rafter here will be in the middle of the metal so it cannot fall there will be another piece of this running from center to there center there to there so when I roll it down over I can tack the metal when I when I get that piece on, then I'll be able to come in on the inside and I will take and cut that out, that shape. Then I will know exactly where, uh, well, the wheel well will be right there because I'll have sheathed it. I'll be able to go on the inside and cut that, come in from the front or wherever and, and cut that out. So then there'll be one sheet here. I'll go the other side, flap another sheet over that side. We'll meet it up in the middle on this piece of square stock that runs in the middle. And then we just continue on. We got halfway here. We'll make sure we have one four foot center here. Piece of metal flat, roll it all the way on. And then so on, so on. Um, the ends, this, this stuff here, and the end is gonna be the, the issue. But other than that, it's, it's gonna be pretty basic, I think. I'm gonna grab myself some paper. Baby went and bought me some new Bristol board this morning. I want to thank all the people that donated Bristol board to me. There was a man came with a bunch of Bristol board here. There's been Bristol board sent in the mail. I appreciate it. I really do. I want to thank everybody for making our YouTube channel successful. And if it wasn't for you, um, if it wasn't for you, it would not be successful. And it's free. Piece of tape. Where did I put that tape as we here? Nope, I bet you it's underneath here. There it is. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna halfway this up. The reason I'm gonna halfway it, because like I said before, a piece of metal will be going on there. I'm going to the top. I mean, 
day. I'm just going to put that down there. We're just going to try this small piece here this morning. And then we can try, when we do the bigger piece in the center, uh, we might be able to do these ones in the bigger piece. Let's rip that off. Damn it. So, I'm about, um, if you're interested in building something like this, uh, I'm in about $1,000 for all the metal. I'm getting, I'm pretty close to $1,000. Um, I am. I don't know if I need that right there. And that's, I mean, let's face it, if you're going to build a car, you got to spend some money. I'm going to bring that down a little bit and then I can trace off. That piece, tape that right there. Just taping that together. Tape it all together there. Now, I'm going to go down the inside here, make sure that's down, and give me a true read. I've got this piece of uh, square stock propped up in the center to make sure that my first roof rafter is the right height. That's what it's there for. Nothing else, nothing but. And I think it is. Alrighty. Marker in my pocket. I got a marker in my pocket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in the inside here, and I'm going to trace. If you want, I don't know if you want to go the other side and see that. You, you, Jolene knows what she's doing, man. No sense me saying anything. She knows what she's doing, boys. Be foolish for me to tell her what to do. Foolish. Wouldn't it, sweetheart? Yep, she says. Don't tell me what to do. What makes you happy, sweetheart? Doing what you want to do. Do it your way. That makes you happy, doesn't it? And I suggest everybody does it their way. That way they're the happiest. If you like something, like, like, like I say, if you like something that we're doing here, take it. And if you don't like it, throw it away. But we're all doing the exact same thing. We're just building an old car, having fun with it. And uh, that's the name of the game. Now, when I put that on there and I trace that, I could not trace in the center of the square stock, so I'm going to have to <laughs> have to make sure that I add to my pattern when I take it off. If that makes sense. I've traced on this side of the square stock. When I pull this pattern off, I'm not going to, when I, if I cut the pattern, I'm not going to be halfway in the center of that, so I'm going to have to uh, take my line and add a half inch because I traced my line over here. We're good there, we're good there. Let's peel off some tape. There is a motorcycle show today in, um, in Kentville. It's called the Devil's Half Acre, is it called? Me and Jolene probably will go into that and uh, check it out. If, if there's no music playing in, at certain points, maybe we'll do some taping. Just want to get that tacked together. I really uh, would like to sheath this in, you know what I mean? I could really sheath it in quite quickly, but in actual fact, all the outside stuff has to be done, or all the um, inside, like the engine, that stuff has to be done, and all the you know, to sheath it in and on the outside and uh, not be able to get it on the inside would be stu stupid of me. So I'm really going to have to just take my time and make sure that I get everything completed that I do not have to do on the inside. If that makes sense. And it should. We get 
our pattern. Looks like a piece of, piece of pizza. All I have to do is draw some pepperoni. You get it. I'm gonna get a straight edge. See if I cannot draw another straight line. Like I said, these ones are bigger, so I'm, I might see it's almost the same size as two put together. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna make one of those, but we're gonna do this one first. Ah, get down, Chad, get down. All right, we're gonna do a half inch. Just gonna go by eye. We're allowed. And you are too. And you are too. Sign her up here. And go a little bit bigger. Yeah. I'm happy with that. It's halfway on that. Gives me a nice distance. On this one here, I'm thinking that I'm plenty long. pair of scissors. I find it's nice sometimes if I'm making something round, I, 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 I think of triangles. And the reason I think of triangles is because you can, I can get a little bit of shape in this. And if I try to make this shape, if I had, just think about it, if it was square, if my pattern was square and I had this shape up there in the square up here and it was that, that wide up here and it had this shape and then I have this shape. That's a hard thing to make. Um, this and that. It's a hard thing to make. When you uh, make it in a pie shape, you have some shape here, and then you're actually losing some shape when it gets up into there because of that um, pie shape. And it's a, it, I'm hoping that it's just gonna be an easy thing. I just tack, 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 push it down and put it on. Because if Jolene comes and looks at this, at any angle, you can tell that this piece is out further than that piece because it's, it's got that shape to it. And we want shape out than in because it looks better. There's a new car that me and Jolene see all the time uh, when we're in town. And uh, the, in, the door has got an in shape to it. What a terrible looking new car. I shouldn't say that, not a terrible looking car. It's just, it's not a pleasing to the eye shape on a car, is an in. And the beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. So that was just me speaking my belly button. Cut a piece of tape. Alright, that's the that's the shape that I have. I'm gonna check it out on here. Um, this this is one here. No, it goes like this because I had that. So we want actually want it. Stop it. We want it halves and both. And I think we I think we've accomplished that. You know something, to be honest with you? That doesn't look that bad. Doesn't look that bad, but I am gonna put a little bit of shape in it. That does not look, that, to be honest with you, I don't even know if I have to put any shape in it, because to be honest with you, that looks really good. I will put a little bit in it, just a little bit, but that looks good to me. And I feel like the front is gonna be quite, to make that round shape all the way around the front, I think it's gonna be pretty, pretty basic. Let's, let's cut a piece of metal. Put a pair of gloves on. My friend, there's been a few people that have given me suggestions, but uh, we have the mechanic friend that we have. His name's Nathan. Uh, he's, he's quite intelligent. He is intelligent. Um, I was talking about the steering, and what's the steering call that he said? 
hydraulic hydraulic orbital. It'd be like a steering system off a forklift where you would have two uh, lines come off, to, off of your power steering pump from your engine, come into your, your steering box, and then there would be two more lines that come out of that power steering box that would go into a, a cylinder that would make the car steer. Sounds like a pretty simple thing, but uh, then I can move the box anywhere I want just by putting on a couple power steering lines. And there might even have been a few comments in the comment section about it. And uh, give yourself a pat on the back because you knew. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to keep this paper because I'm going to be using it, obviously. Let's get this metal down and get cleaned up. I've been, I've been cut, cutting this metal with a zip cut, and sometimes it gets quite sharp, so you have to be careful when you pick stuff up like that. I'm always nervous when Jolene picks up the metal. She picks them up yesterday and uh, without a glove, and you can. it only takes a split second to cut yourself on that stuff. Split second. I have to thank the moderators for doing an awesome job on the live chat. I have to thank everybody doing comments. Just want to thank everybody. Make sure you're not forgotten. Thank you. Thank you for the people that send in the little levels and all the gifts. We appreciate it. We do. Just trying to look and see where I can get the mostest out of my predicament. Got a straight edge here a little bit. I might as well take it. I generally do. My glasses on so I can see. A pair of glasses over there. And I might tack this piece on and I might take it back off. I'm not sure because I'd rather have in the end, I know, I, I know this is going to fit. In the end, I'd rather have one weld or two weld seams. I might even be able to do one. As less weld seams as possible is how I'd like to do it. If I'm welding a seam up, you must know that I'm going to get into the fill work, or you'd have to fill it. You don't have to, but you could. This vehicle right here, I'm feeling like I probably could do it all in aluminum. I could. I could take that time, learn how to weld aluminum, and I could make it out of aluminum. Or I could take the time and rivet it like Jolene's car in aluminum. And if you don't know, it's kind of something that I would use or as a pull rig or a prop deal, sort of deal thing. Um, for Jolene's car, for a, you know how the big time cars usually had a hauler of some sort. That's where that sharp metal comes in effect there. A hauler for Jolene's Bugatti, and we have not forgot about the Bugatti. Um, there's some, some good information that we have. We haven't let out yet, but we've got some good information concerning the Bugatti. Alrighty, that's one. I'm gonna cut it again with a zip cut, make some more stuff that'll cut you.
there's been a few comments about, <laughs> you know, safety. And what I'm, you know, what I've said to a few people that I've talked to, you know, it's, it's a concern. People ask the question. It's, a, it's a, a simple question to ask. But you have to ask yourself when you ask that question, compared to what? Are you comparing the safety of sitting in the front of that to a motorcycle? A smart car? A scooter? You know, a bus that you're sitting in the front? You have to ask yourself what you're comparing it to. Um, at all points in life, we all must know there's, there's risks in everything. I would not want to hit anything head on in the front of that. I, I wouldn't want to hit anything in, head on in front of Jolene's Corvette, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, so, you know, an accident is not where I go when I'm building cars. That's not what I'm thinking. I'm thinking of design. That's what I'm thinking. Like, I'm basically, that's what I'm thinking of. And when I say a Bugatti hauler, I'm not, <laughs> you must realize, there's been some comments about your, it's not gonna fit inside. Well, you're right, <laughs> it's not gonna fit inside. And the reason being is it would be a hauler in the sense of um, the engine would be in the middle, you'd be sitting in the front, and then there would be a trailer hooked to the back of it which would haul the car on a trailer. Excuse me. Also, uh, I just wanna address some comments on it. Also, some people say it's too short, it's too, too wide, too whatever, but in all honesty, I took from the picture, it was an inspiration of mine, I took from the picture, and I'm trying to build something like it. And I think I said it on the video before, the wheels, are th the wheels on the original are three feet. Uh, if you read a little bit more into it, the whole truck combined together is six feet. So in actual fact, the wheel is half of the height of the doodle bug or the tanker. So when I've pulled this mini Winnie out, um, the reason I shortened it is because when I looked at the doodle bug, the wheels were almost the size as, as the toolbox. Now, when I go to make the height of it, I can only, I, you know, to keep it in proportion in what you were looking at, I wouldn't want to make the vehicle six feet when the wheels are only 30 inches. So the wheels are 30 inches. So now the trucks becomes 60 inches. So I basically, I'm shrinking um, the inspiration for this build, which is the doodle bug. And so if you can understand that part, um, when it all comes together, we will actually have something that resembles the doodle bug. If I had built it six feet tall with the small little wheels, you probably would have laughed at it. Well, that doesn't look like it. If you know what I'm, what I'm going for. Going for. And there was, if you look at these, if you're into the, what we're doing here, and if you look at these, I'm not sure which way that goes. That's about it. It doesn't look bad, you know, just pulling it down like that, the shape it. But I am going to put a little bit of shape in it just because I want to. <laughs> I don't know if I even have to, to be honest with you. Like, it's just really... I'll put a little bit in it, a little bit. I'm going to take it over to the roller. There's another one of these. I'm going to finish my sentence. There's another one of these on there. If you look up this tanker, 
There's one with uh, B A P. Would that be British? I don't know British Patrol. I'm not sure what it's got. It's got, a, it's got B A P written on it. And uh, you look at that one, and it does not look to me. It does not look half as sharp as the Texaco one. And the reason I say that, I'm going to put a little, so you got a little bit of curve in that. Just a little bit. I'm going to put just a little bit more in it. It doesn't look half as sharp as a Texaco tanker. And the reason being is the tires um, are not half the size of the truck. And it just kind of gives it... It's kind of a nice shape going on there, not bad. I already got it confused already. Want to make sure I get the right side for the right piece. Thinking that fits up there. That gives me halfway there nice. That gives me halfway there nice. So I want to roll it this way. When I put it in there, I want the roll in the center. How do, how do I want to roll that? Yeah, I want the roll in the center, so. See, I got a little roll there going on. A little bit of curve, I'm gonna do it again. If I left it, put it in like that, the, the roll would be in the wrong spot, I'm thinking. So that's why I did it like this, so I can get the roll in the center of the piece of metal. You see now we're in the center. The roll. I'm, I'm hoping that'll do the exact same thing. Now we got a little shape in that bad boy. You can see it, yeah. You know there's shape in it because I showed you. See how it's curved? I'm gonna plunk this on with some some uh, some pliers, and the reason being is, is because I wanna know if I can make one piece. I have to make this one. This one is for, for, for an example, I guess. But I'm going to make that center one and see how that one goes. Do not have the big piece of metal in here um, to make the big one in the center. Do not have yet. Need some metal. There goes some more money, obviously. That's why you try to do with what you have. That way there it keeps the price down. I've done so many projects for certain people, or not certain people, for people. And once the money gets up there, the, f the fun comes right out of it. <laughs> it does. <laughs> if you don't know, just ask me. I will not lie. We have that piece there. See how we use that piece right along that edge? That was the angle that we wanted. We couldn't use the one inch square stock because it left metal. We could have, but it left metal down the inside, didn't finish it nice. Just gonna, it's not where I want it clamped. Gonna open her up a little bit. Probably way too much. And day, today is the day to get out and work on your project, people. Today is the day. And day after Friday. You gotta be careful with these little clamps. And the reason I say you gotta be careful it's because you can cause yourself an issue. I haven't got a half weight on this. I want to bring it over just a little bit. But you can cause yourself a, some damage. Uh, I did it yesterday on, or the day before, on the trailer. Um, it has to be banged down a little bit. So you can see I got a little shape in that, which I like. Which I like. And the reason being is it's better out than in. And that's with a lot of other things. Burps and farts and... That sort of stuff, you know, better out than in. I'm just going to stick that on. You can damage your metal if you start clamping things too tight sometimes. You just want to be careful. Go easy. So I'm going to wipe that off. I 
So you can see how I'm going to plunk that in there and how easy that's really going to be. We got a nice shape going on there. We've got a really nice shape going on. You're not going to see anything in that when it comes to time for filler or anything like that. And the reason being is it's got this to it. If it had this to it, it wouldn't look good. But we got this going on. Where we got this piece over the edge here, we got a little shape in that piece. We round it, but we'll pull it down, which will give us strength. So it's going to want to pull up instead of laying down. With it just laying down, we never put no tension in or no memory in the metal. So it's just a flat piece of metal. When you start welding on it, basically it could go anywhere it wanted to. You know, we've put a little bit of shape in that, which puts more tension on that. There's tension on that already where we've made a little roll in it puts pressure against puts pressure on that metal and that's what we want just a flat piece laying up there there's no pressure whatsoever so we put pressure on that we got to pull down on that to make that fit that's a great thing when we go with the piece up this side here with the full sheet it'll go right along there this will be our window it'll go right along half of that and then we half it right along there so that'll be fantastic what I want to do is I want to try a a bigger piece uh, that's just a piece that we're going to try because we got bigger pieces up here to try. It's almost like I want to try this big piece as one piece. But there you go. That's what's going on for the sheathing of the front of it. So it's going to be like a little, like a hat. Like when you see your hat, it's, it's in a circle. <laughs> Basically the exact same thing. If they tried to square, make this square all the way up here, it would be a lot harder to make the hat is, is in, in to make them triangles like that. Basically tells you right there, boom, boom, into a triangle, which be, allows it to be rounded and come into a point. And basically the exact same thing I'm doing right there. I'm building a hat for the tanker, and that's the front of it. Uh, that's going to go, that's going to go fantastic. That's going to be a very simple thing to do, I think. Also, the, the front, once I get that sheet on halfway on the, I'll come back over this side. Once I get that sheet running down there, Got that sheet running over there. Then I just gotta run a sheet here on it, on its straight edge, on the bot, probably I'd run it on the top. And the reason being is I can cut it off at the bottom. If I run it up over, then I gotta come up here by the window and start cutting. So we'd run it up here. We'd run that sheet all the way around. We'd run a square stock down here. We'd get it cut in the middle. Then we cut the bottom off. And then we've got that sheet in there. With that metal wrapped around there like that, held in nice and tight, there's pressure against that metal. We're making memory for it. We'll do the exact same thing there. It's really going to go quick on the sheathing part, but there's so much more um, to make it a running, driving hauler. Nothing's going inside of it. Nothing's going inside of it except the engine, me and Jolene, and a trailer hitch, maybe to hitch on to the Bugatti. Also, as I'm talking about it, <laughs> Like the tanker is an inspiration, but in all honesty, if I make it a hauler for the Bugatti, we might do a spine down through the middle with rivets in it. I mean, I'm just throwing it out there. And there can be ideas sent in if there want to be. Um, also, there can, like, it can be a spine put on it. Um, we could actually, we may, I'm not sure yet, we may put a little uh, Bugatti grill in it to give it that effect that it could have been a hauler back in the day. And all I'm doing is working off what somebody else has done to make what we want to do. All right, everybody. Thanks very much for coming back. I appreciate it. And I'm going to say it again. Thank you, everybody, for watching and paying attention, commenting, live chat, moderators, um, people that send in gifts, people that say nice things. I want to thank Jolene. I want to thank everybody because you need to be thanked. Have a great day, everybody. Like, share, comment, come back. And thanks for buying that gear.